that search would have been conducted um, by, the, by the officers attending uh, under the provisions undertake the audit of the uh, facilities there to store the weapons. Well, 4.2 tonnes of ammunition. Um, mines and Energy provide assistance to us to remove that, render it safe, and remove it from the property. 4.2 tonnes of ammunition, various uh, calibre of ammunition. Um, I personally haven't seen it, but 4.2 tonnes is an extensive amount of ammunition. Any idea about how many <laughs> And were any of the weapons found loaded? Uh, not that I can comment on. Any, I know you're still doing... ...showing that they had been fired recently? Uh, once again, those weapons would have to be for, uh, ballistically examined. These firearms are concerning. Uh, market, the value of the Glock, the handguns, um, would be around the $10,000 mark. Some of the um, military style rifles would be around the $30,000 to $50,000 value on the open market. So conservatively, we're probably looking at a a two to three million dollar haul, including the ammunition. Was it true that you had to uh, bring them down into the No, that's, no, they were, that's not true. Um, have any of the men charged, have they ever owned uh, weapons? Were they Sorry? Are they licensed to um, possess those weapons for farming purposes? Yes, they are licensed to hold uh, those weapons and some of the weapons would be used for farming purposes. Any idea where they've sourced the illegal weapons from? As I said, we're working with other law enforcement agencies to try and identify the origin of the firearms. At this stage, it's still early days in this investigation. We see, we see um, a few times before there have been small, much smaller hauls, and they have been uh, avid collectors of these military style rifles at home. Do you see quite a bit more avid than most? They are licensed firearm holders, and in relation to the purpose of what they had this cachet for, I can't comment on this stage. Were they on the property at the time of the arrest, uh, of the search? Yes, they were. No. Was anyone else at the property? Yes, there was two other persons present. They no. Um, sorry, if you might we ask you, you um, how do you feel about having this? The positive here is the location of the firearms and the removal of them from uh, um, the public. Uh, any firearm uh, that's uh, being held unlawfully uh, is uh, one that we want to recover and recovering this many. Uh, is uh, is a great um, is a great uh, coup for us. Were you surprised at the volume? Did you go there expecting to find 300 or something? Uh, I don't really want to go into the grounds of why they went there, but obviously there was an interest in the the possibility that there was unlawfully possessed firearms there at the address at that time. How long do you think it's taken for them to build up this hall? Look, I I really can't answer that question. Uh, 4.2 tonnes of ammunition, given the current climate of uh, accessing ammunition, it's fairly uh, fairly restrictive. The firearms there, there are some firearms that are aged 
Uh, there are some modern firearms there, such as the MP5. So at this stage of the investigation, we're unable to say how long they've been stockpiling these, for. These firearms obviously would have, could have been produced before the night games, before now. So it's a much more restrictive uh, licensing regime and, and uh, seeing what remains where it can be banned. Do you think that they have been sitting on the property since before then? Um, the, uh, I'm not too sure as to how long they've been licensed firearm holders for. Um, there are some fairly old... ...would indicate to us that they're prob probably 20 to 30 years uh, old. Could you take us through the catalogue of the process? Like, we'd be looking, see whether they've been fired, whether they match any other crimes. Can you tell us what you'll be doing now? <sighs> I really can't say what the ballistics and forensics experts will be doing. They'll be identifying um, the serial numbers, the, uh, other identification marks on the firearms. They will be test firing all the firearms, um, obtaining a, what we'd like to call a DNA profile of that gun. It will be matched with a national database to see if any of the firearms have been used in other offences. From an investigative uh, purpose, we will be liaising with our law enforcement partners trying to identify the um, origin of those firearms. This could really solve a lot of your crimes, couldn't it? Well, we hope so, yes. And a lot less chances. In investigation, I, I suppose there probably will be further charges preferred. Detective McNabb, is this a, a problem in your yeah. part of this state? firearms are removed. Um, it's probably a time, uh, timely reminder to people, particularly in rural communities where um, people lawfully possess firearms as part of their primary production, that it's important that they secure those. In the area. It's not a particular problem for the central region. And it must have been, I mean, they just kept finding gun after gun after gun, it must have been a bit of a surprise. State Crime Command, um, Operation Support Command and the Wide Bay Burnet Detectives. So there's quite a number of staff involved and it was a painstaking search. As the Detective Superintendent said, it's a it's a fairly large rural property with a number of structures and building, buildings on it, so it did take some time. Is there a dominant uh, RMCC team and what is it? Uh, Obviously, it's the early stage of the investigation, and, and it's, uh, we're still working through it. But uh, we're not aware of any uh, CMG presence in Montauk. And how, between the three men, how many firearms were they licensed to have in that property? In total, there were 71 firearms licensed to the property. They were also holding firearms for other persons. And of those 71, is it correct that some? firearms that were located, um, we've taken possession of because there is uh, a number of uh, storage issues in relation to the weapons that we have collected. Could you, by any chance, just tell us the most obscure place you found some of these weapons? Like, I mean, we don't have pictures of the property, but it'd just be really good to show. I mean, they're, you know, in the kitchen cabinet, is there three of them there? Look, really... I haven't been to the property myself, but uh, virtually the number of, given the number of weapons, the weapons were located in McDonald's on the property, through sheds on the property. Um, there was a uh, there was a storage facility. There was sorry, there was a uh, storage facility um, used on the property. So yeah, there was. I can't really specify.